Hey guys and gals, I'm Pal, and welcome to the finale of Five Nights at Freddy's 2. Oh boy. Last time, we beat the sixth night with, once again, relative and surprising ease. And this time, we're not tackling 420 mode. We are attempting to sur surmount 1020 mode. And as I raise these difficulty settings, I would just like to emphasize how how much of uncharted waters these are because the guide that I've been using, Kevin Kevin, for some reason, I don't know why, he has not completed, to my knowledge, 1020 mode. I could not find this video, a video telling me how to do it, anywhere on his channel. And the next best thing was very vague. So vague that I won't even tell or tell you who it is because it's just way too vague. And then the next best was Markiplier, and he doesn't even explain it, and I can see his strategy's really bad, because he's putting on the mask when he sees Freddy in the hallway. So, uh, <laughs> I'm just supposed to be relying on my own experience from previous nights. So, we're going to be ignoring the right vent for now. I may change the strategy. Uh, flashing both, both hallways, and then winding the music box. Now, one of the strategies I did see, uh, emphasized how you're not you should not be winding the music box beyond a quarter of its of its hp or of its percentage oh snap oh my goodness golden freddy twice what have i gotten myself into oh my goodness wow um so yeah that's a thing i just got Golden Freddy twice. There's uh, Toy Toy Freddy. Okay, uh, I believe that that's Mangle, so I should do this. Okay, I believe they're gone. Oh, wind this, wind, 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 wind. Oh, oh forced it down. Okay, this is going to be one that I'm probably not going to be talking about random things. I'm just going to be sweating like crazy because this is cra this is crazy. This is insane. Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. Yep. Wow. That's crazy. That's literally insane. I've never seen... Oh my... And there's... There's Bonnie. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's amazing. That's amazing. That's the craziest I've ever seen this series get. <laughs> I was being assaulted by, like, three animatronics at a time. Plus, of course, the music box. That's that's actually kind of cool. Good. Mangle's already on the move. I would actually kind of love... I, I talked about last night how I'd love to see motion in the cameras. And I really do want to see motion in the cameras. Because you, could you imagine exactly how fast these animatronics would be moving? I mean, they're... I, I assume they'd be warping around the, uh, the pizzeria. When first you don't succeed, <laughs> when you fall off a horse, you get right back up, and you eat that horse. <laughs> Come eat that horse with me, Vegeta. Uh, Minigame, okay. <laughs> it's the only saving grace of this. But I'm actually kind of discouraged by this. Can I move? Let me move. There we go. Go, 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 go! Oh man, I move quickly. Hur hooray! What? Oh, oh, okay. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. <gasps> go, go, go! I'm doing it. I'm running. Yay! I did it. <laughs> I, I'm su succeeding at something. Get ready. Oh, I remember this. There's purple guy. I think if I go to him, I'll it'll end the thing. No, okay. Notice how purple guy has a smile on his face because. Foxy's his favorite. And now they're dead. Oh! So I'm gonna assume I'm actually playing as Golden Freddy here. And I actually have I done this minigame before? I think I have. Now that that child's familiar. Oh no 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 no, no I haven't. That's Golden Freddy. Oh ho. Oh Golden Freddy again! <gasps> Whoa! And this, I'm gonna get jump scared by Golden Freddy, right? Yes? What? Okay, I'm trying to leave. I'm gonna get jump scared now? Oh, I'm supposed to go down here. 
Mangle. I'm gonna get jump scared by Mangle. Mangle. Wait, am I not supposed to? What? Where am I going? Okay, now I'm getting really unnerved here. I'll go back up? I'm gonna get jump scared though. No. Oh, I'm supposed to go up, maybe. <laughs> maybe? Oh, I remember this, I think. Where am I supposed to go? Wait a minute. Am I am I a Fredlet? I'm a Fredlet. That's why I'm so small. Oh. That may I think I think guys I'm actually a Fredlet because we've seen Golden Freddy and Freddy's up on stage. So we're playing as a Fredlet from Five Nights at Freddy's 4. Okay, you're moving. So you have to be the answer. I'm walking on top of you. What is your Oh, there. Okay. Now I feel dumb. Now I feel really dumb. I don't even know why. What the point of that night was. So I guess I kind of went in here, feeling like it was unbeatable. Okay. But hey, maybe, maybe I'll be one of the few people to do it, guys. Maybe I'll be one of the few people to make it through. I don't know why I talk like this when I'm, I'm being sarcastically cute. Yep. Snap. Oh, snap. I died. Okay. Man bro pig, guys. I have to beat the man bro pig to beat it when Markiplier can- Yeah. <laughs> Gross. Disgusting. Okay, guys. This is where I'm at. I've scoured YouTube. I cannot find a single other YouTuber who has beaten 1020 no mode besides Markiplier. You know what I take this as? A challenge. I take this as such a challenge. <laughs> okay, let's try that again. I would like to think that I am better at video games than stinking Markiplier. So, I'm gonna do this. I, I'm gonna try. I mean, if I can't do it, then I will, uh, I'll, I'll take a, a lesson in humility. But, I would like to try and do it. I would like to try and beat this thing. Though. Yeah, there it is. I mean, I, I know that if I faced Markiplier in uh, Smash Brothers, I'd, I'd beat him. I know that for a fact. Because I've played against Zime, man. Best Zelda in the world, and I, I haven't beaten him, but I, I came close, and if you count for the lag, I would have come closer. Reddit post. Foxy, if you see him in the hallways, flash the light on him a couple of times. Pull up the camera and repeat until he's gone. The light might be disabled when he enters the hallway, but if you hear the sound the flashlight makes if you try to turn it on, it still counts as a flash. That is important to know, guys, because that means that it's much easier now to guard against Foxy, and now I can actually start flashing the hallway, because I wasn't, because I thought I was wasting battery power for something that actually wasn't helping me at all. No, 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 no. So, that's what I'm going to do. That is really good to know. Hello. Um, also, good to note that... You know what? No, I'm not going to talk, honestly. it's I'm done giving a tutorial. I'm just going to talk about what's going on. Because that's way more important. Good. Start with the left vent, work my right, way right. Good. Wind, wind, wind. No, I lowered that thing. What? I'm dead. So, there it is. I, okay, I don't know what my, is up with my time. Is my mouse dying? Is that a thing? I don't think it would be. It's feeling pretty crisp. It's just feeling a lot more sensitive than it should be, and I have my sensitivity all the way at the lowest possible setting. Maybe I shouldn't. I'll try it without. Okay. It might actually help. Okay, it's one higher than it was before. So I'm, I'm willing to try anything at this point. No, 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 that's it's awful. Although, you know, yeah, I'm turning this down. What? Really? I, I'm pretty sure I lowered the mask, man. <sighs> 10 seconds, really? That's that's what I'm shooting for now. Ten seconds. Flashbacks of a uh, night of 420 mode in Five Nights at One are coming back to me, and it's they're not fun. They really aren't. 
Okay, you know what? You know what? The sensitivity is it is really low. Or it's uh it's much it's much sluggier than it should be. Although also this is is like I'm I'm using my mouse on ice. I'm missing everything. Yeah, back down. Yep, this is better. Okay, I have it back down. Good. It's really up to chance. I shouldn't I shouldn't be scared of these animatronics because it's like I said, it's entirely up to Mangle being in the, in the vent. Mangle's in the vent. Go. Okay. Whoa! Whoa, that's unfair. That is unfair. That is annoying. Like I said, I'm getting annoyed by this game because it is up to chance. That's dumb. Okay, the furthest I've made was what? 2? 2? 2 a.m.? Okay. If I made it to 2 a.m., I think I can do it. I think I can do it. Yep. Dead again. Whoa, there- Hey! We did get to see- We did get to see him. Oh, that's- That's encouraging. I'm so glad- You know what? If nothing else came of this, we saw the exoskeleton. And that's encouraging, because I've never seen him in-game. So we got to see him. I'm happy about that. I'm surprised I lived there. There's just a slight buffer that allows for shenanigans. Up to halfway. Oh, that was record speed. Good job, Paladin. You do the good job. The animatron- I just realized this. The animatronics aren't- They don't feel. Why, why haven't I not thought about this? Before they're possessed by the children, they don't feel. They don't remember this, right? They don't. I just realized that. Why have I never thought about this? And I'm actually getting a little bit of chills realizing that they don't realize. So, man, this is actually giving me legitimate chills because it's one of the few, the few quote-unquote breakthroughs I've experienced since discovering this, uh, since seeing the series. Um, when when you see all these these different cutscenes of animatronics dis discovering the dead children, these animatronics don't feel they're all they they're programmed to do is make these children happy. They have no feelings. They're not some advanced form of robotic life. They they just want to make the children happy. And so what did they, oh my goodness, oh my oh wow, this story is so much deeper than I thought. So being programmed to do this what they're inclined to do is to make the children move because that's what children do oh my word that is great oh my word that is insane so they've been programmed to make children happy how do they make children happy by making them move by making by when they're moving they're usually happy they're not sleeping they're not bored they're doing things they're active so and this is this is make, maybe taking it a bit too far so how best to do that make the children play hide and seek maybe i'm overthinking this i probably am scott probably was not going for that but i mean the breakthrough in of itself that i i the uh, the epiphany that I, that I came across that the animatronics don't didn't feel prior to seeing these kids which is kind of you know no duh but something I never thought of I kind of thought they they were sad that they saw that their children were dead but no they didn't feel anything they're just like children must be happy bro okay I think this is gonna be my last take before I I call it for a night hello funnel cake lady Getting the rhythm down. Back to that old rhythm, yo. Back to that old rhythm, Golden Freddy. Speaking of which, <laughs> ah, I love I love that guy. That he that was pretty funny. Uh, that was four times. Which? Okay, I'm gonna assume that they've been taken care of. Flash that. See, I flashed it like three times. Counterplay, man. There's counterplay to Foxy. It really is. It's just kind of of mixing in some some buffers. Okay, it's not open yet. There's Mangle. 
Okay, so I know no one's possibly in that vent at all. Flash, mainly for Fox's sake, not really finding out if anything's there. There he is. Hey, but this time I'm killing multiple birds with one stone. And now I know no one's in the vent. Hello. Good. You see that? That's called being smart. It's called adapting to the game, not to the strategy. That is... That was really smart of me. Okay, wind it up. Mangle's there. Which actually gives me a little bit of time. Good. See that? Like I said, adapting to the game, not the strategy. If I beat this, that... Whoa. Okay, I flashed you, but whatever. One tip I have, if you're a gamer, and you want to improve your game a little bit, turn down your mouse sensitivity, man. It it really does wonders, because A, you're more accurate. You really are, because you're moving your entire arm instead of just one one thing. Instead of just your, your fingers. Um, and two... The sensitivity also prevents carpal tunnel, if you're concerned about that. It prevents backlash later in life. If you look at the pros, I, I believe, um, I hate going back to League, but it's really what I'm, I know and what I'm into right now. Uh, Bjergsen, one of the best mid laners, honestly, in the world. Okay, wait, do I have time? I do. It's close. But anyway, Bjergsen, one of the best mid laners in League of Legends, probably in the world. Um, he's in a bit of a slump right now, though. He he has his DPS on his mouse, set to, I think, 100? 100 or 400? One of the two. It's between that. And that's that's extremely low. And so I, I set mine pretty low as well. I think mine's at 300, so I'm moving my, my entire hand, my arm. And it's, it's honestly pretty nice. It also preve prevents mouse hand, which is where your, your, your hands get really cold when you're using a mouse. It prevents that, which is nice, because there's more circulation. And it's honestly just better. I don't really mean to say that my, my way is better, but it kind of is. Okay, I need to flash the hallway. Good. Good. Okay, what was I saying? I don't remember what I was. Yeah, mouse, mouse sensitivity. But it's, it really helps here, because it allows me to be more accurate, not miss these stupid lights, and just stay on the ball. Because missing, missing a light is maybe like five extra frames that you're, that you're extending. That's not good. That's never good. You never want to be extending something for five frames. That's huge. You, it may not sound like it, but a five frame delay is crazy. Oh, really? I died? I'd made it so far, too. It, it was the stages, man. There actually are stages that are real. That's kind of interesting. Also, I'm starting to talk a little bit quieter because my family is sleeping by this point. I'm surprised they haven't disturbed me and, and told me I had to stop recording because they're going to bed. I still live at my parents' house, by the way. I'm, o I'm only 18. Ooh, I'm dead. So actually, it's it's beneficial just to to try and bait it out as long as possible in order to get that main jump scare to happen. Because if you do have to deal with the sidling, then then by the time it it desyncs everything, and it just it literally ruins the entire night. Because if you're dealing with sidelings, then you're having to deal with mainlings later, making terms up as I go along. And if you're dealing with mainlings, then you're not you're not actually jump scaring, or you're not um, flashing Foxy. So, that's that's what I'm going for. It's so like this, if I can delay it as long as possible, then I'm dealing with the, the side vents right now. And so I can check, I check them, yes, because I, I want to be safe, but I don't need to. Like that, that, that just killed me. See, I desynced it. I threw off the order. But it's actually kind of a benefit here because Bonnie came, so it kind of saved me here. But that means that... Fox is gonna jump scare me. You watch, watch. It's gonna happen. He's gonna jump scare me. No, he's he didn't. Okay. I was very fortunate there, but that's all I was. I was just fortunate. Okay. I delayed Foxy because he's he's now in the hall. So I'm I'm just predicting what's happening, and I am. Th th what I'm saying is going down is exactly what's happening. See, because now no one's will be in the vent, so I have time to do this. 
the stamp, and I didn't have time to do that. But you can see, I'm. It's not. It's not that my skill level's low, or that I have some somewhere to continue advancing. I know exactly what's going on with these knights to a T, but it's just a chance of getting those correct scenarios. But I do, I do know the pattern now. I know exactly what all, all the animatronics are doing at any given time, which is kind of crazy that I picked it up on my own because there have been no guides, but I, I do. What I might do, I, I don't know, I, you know what, I'm probably not going to, but I'll just use this video as a guide for other people. But this, what I, the strategy I'm saying is, is the legit strategy. Snap. I'm dead. Okay, that was, that was a good try. Alright. Thank you guys so much for watching. Now, I, if, if I'm gonna make these one video, then I'll just, you know, not do the outro, but otherwise... Thank you so much for watching, and if you enjoyed this episode in any capacity, please click like, and if you didn't, <laughs> then drop a comment telling me I could make the next episode so that you would like it. It almost looked like I've been, it almost sounds like I've been doing post-commentary, but I'm actually not. So, I will see you guys for the next video of Five Nights at Freddy's 2, Custom Night 1020 mode. I'm getting better at it. I think I can manage to pull it out. So, I'll see you guys next time.